So let's start the little crab scenario. We're going to open up Greenfoot. And our first order of business is to load the crab scenario. So we're going to go to Scenario, Open. And the crab scenario is located in Chapter 2. So let's go with the first one right here. And let's create a crab. And now if I press the Act button, we see nothing happens. And the reason for that, if I open up the crab code here, we can see that the Act method is currently empty. So let's enter some code in here. We'll add the Move method in here. The Move method is already built into Greenfoot. So let's create another crab now. And now we see that when we press the Act button, the crab moves a little bit. If I press the Run button, this will call the Act method over and over again in a continuous loop. And the crab will continue to do well until it hits the edge of the world. And then it'll get stuck. Now let's modify the Act method in the crab a little bit so that instead of moving forward 1, it moves forward 10. And in addition to that, we'll have the crab turn 17 degrees each time it acts. So let's try that now. We're going to create a new crab. And let's call the act method. We see that the crab is turning. And if we hit the run method, we see that the crab is now moving in a circle. Before we leave our little crab part one tutorial, let's go back to a scenario where the crab was getting stuck at the edge of the world. Let me just show you that one more time. Here, if I run the crab, you can see that it gets stuck when it hits the edge. Let's see if we can deal somehow with the edge of the world and make the crab turn away so that it never gets stuck. I've added a little code in an if statement saying if this particular crab is at the edge, then I want to turn 25 degrees, and then I want to move 10 spaces. So now when the act method is called, one of two things will happen. Either only the move method will be executed, or the turn and the move will be executed if we're stuck at the edge. One word of caution, some other versions of this program use a slightly different method here instead of is at edge. It uses at world edge, like that. So depending on the version of Greenfoot you're running, you might need to do this, or alternatively do this. Regardless, let's uh, see how this new version works in our scenario. And we see now that when the crab hits the edge, the turn methods start to kick in so that it never gets stuck. Now let's review the concepts that we learned in the first part of the crab tutorial. First, we learned how to execute method calls. Here we see the method act, which calls three other methods, the isAtEdge method, the turn method, and the move method. Some of the methods take parameters. That is to say, there is information inside the parentheses. These methods include the turn method and the move method. Other methods shown here, including the act method and the isAtEdge method, do not take parameters. By this, we mean there is no information inside their parentheses. Generally speaking, code in a program flows from top to bottom. That is to say, it goes in sequence. If we make a mistake when we're compiling, for example, if I was to leave out that semicolon and tried to compile, we would get an error message here indicated by the dashed red line also located at the top of the screen. In Java, we say that one class inherits from another if it copies all the behaviors of that class. In Greenfoot, this inheritance is shown by this white arrow. We see that the crab inherits from actor. Notice that the crab is calling this method called isAtEdge, even though the crab itself does not have this method defined. If we were to open up the actor class, We can see by looking at its methods that the isAtEdge method is defined here. 
Because the crab inherits from actor, the crab also has the right to call this method now. Some methods, like the move method and the turn method, do not return a value. Those are said to be of return type void. Other methods, like the isAtEdge method, returns an answer. In this case, it returns a true or false, so we say that the return type is Boolean for this particular method. Finally, we learn to use an if statement to only execute the turn method when a particular condition was true, in this case, when the crab was stuck at the edge of the world.